Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Ready DC. Well today we are going to be checking out the Savivi Mini Sandbar, which just happens to be an Eric Oaks design, which is very cool. But before we go too far, just want to let you guys know that this is July's Affiliation Knife. For those of you that may not know what that means, um, you guys use my affiliation link, my affiliate link with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I do get a small commission for that every time you use it and purchase something. And I turn that right around to put into a knife to give away every single month. So that is what this is. And what that means is I'm giving this knife away. Yeah. So make sure you leave a comment if you want a chance to win the mini stand bar. That's just kind of the way it works. But what do we got here? All right, we got black G10. Nice G10 uh, backspacer with a lanyard hole right there. Now, you do have a titanium clip on this one. Now, it is right or left hand, so very nice. I know I get the comment quite a, quite a bit about knives not being ambidextrous, and I, you know what? I totally agree with you. I, I wished we would see more ambidextrous knives and we, well we do have one here at least ambidextrous carry we'll say that now this is a flipper so it'll be a little bit better that liner lock is still kind of set up for right-handed people but at, at least they give you a pocket clip option we'll give them that much so Savivi fairly open I mean we're looking at maybe you know what do we got there 20 percent coverage on that backspacer so still pretty open construction Everything, I mean, it's Civivi, so everything is chamfered off really nice. There's no issues there whatsoever. You got stainless liners. I mean, I'll kind of give you guys just a close-up look. See, everything's chamfered off. Really nice. Done really well, as always. That is never, ever a concern for me when it comes to a Civivi knife. Centering? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much dead on as far as centering goes. I do have a little bit of jimping on that flipper tab, and it's okay. It does grab that. It does grab your finger a little bit, but now, as you saw there, I was just getting to that point. Um, you can easily fail this knife, but with a good flip, it, it comes right out. Nothing too major, but like I said, I mean the detent's good. It's not going to come out flopping it around or anything, but you do have to give it a little bit of a flip, or it can be failed. So. Riding on cage ceramic bearings. There you go. There it goes. Like I said. Now, that is a really, really interesting clip point blade. Because, I mean, you've got your standard clip right here. Definitely got a nice recurve on it. I mean, check that out. And then, you almost, not quite. Because, I mean, you don't have a... It's not a segregated point to where it would actually be like more like a tanto but it almost has that look to it you know with where your recurve ends and your belly kind of curls up into that clip but it's referred to as a clip point and it definitely is you just got that nice recurve on it for sure and I say nice recurve because you know just because it's not my thing might be yours so that's cool Nice swedge on that clip. As far as size goes, as you can see, I can get a full four finger grip on it. Just so we're looking at, I bet it's right in at about three and a half grip range. Now, as far as choking up, you can, you really have to trigger the flipper tab because it's not necessarily a finger choil because there again, you are right up on that corner. But if you do want to grip up, just make sure you kind of stay back on that flipper tab a little bit. And you can, but with the overall shape of the knife, you can actually get some really good grips on this for kind of, you know, multiple, multiple type uses. But let's get our, let's get our specs out of the way. What are we going to do here? We're going to see, we're going to poke Zach. We don't want to poke Zach, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're looking at right about seven inches. So you're looking at pretty darn much four and three. If you pull it back here, I mean, yeah, you're just shy of three. And then your cutting edge would be two and 
just shy of two and three quarters on your cutting edge. Grip length, what do we got for grip? Ah, three and a quarter. Okay, so almost three and a half, but not quite. Three and a quarter is good, and like I said, that's how it fits in my three and three quarter inch hand. So we'll get some size comparisons out here for you. Of course, we are going to do the old PM2. PM2 is going to be a quite a bit larger knife, as we kind of expected. We're going to do, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. The bug out. Bug out is slightly bigger. Yeah, it's got it by, oh, it's got it by a good half inch on the blade and just by a little bit on the handle. And then I'm going to throw another one out there, guys, because, well, I just kind of want to talk about it and remind you about it. This is the traditional pocketdives.com exclusive titanium penguin, jigged titanium penguin. I mean, not only do you have that one, but you also have the black one as well. Just wanted to throw that out there as a reminder, guys. And actually, the size comparison works out pretty good. They are really close. Really close. But these guys drop on the 18th, guys, at traditionalpocketknives.com. Just wanted to throw that out there. Austin's a great guy. He sent these out for me to review. So, you know, we're just, he's an awesome guy. So that's why I do it. And he's also my Finch dealer. <laughs> Let's get a weight on this guy. What do we got here? 2.6. So, very slender. Light carry. It carries very well. Because it is so slender. Get our... Show you there. Now, not a deep carry. But a pretty much your standard half inch. Sticking out. Pretty close, anyway. So, but let's talk about the overall, guys. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. Um, ergonomically, everything is done Civivi good. That, that's kind of how I'm referring to it. It's Civivi good. Um, I can feel that pocket clip way more than I want to. I, I have to be honest with you. Uh, it, And if I was going to use this for any lengthy period of time, it would probably be... A hot spot for me and I haven't done any lengthy cutting with it but the little bit of cutting I have done just yeah it, it it's more than I like we'll put it that way I can feel it way more than I like and I think that has to do with the slender handle and just how it hits me specifically on the hand that's probably my biggest pet peeve if you will with this knife is I can feel that clip. I mean the recurve, yeah, it's not my thing, but you know, I'm not gonna say I don't like the knife just because it's a recurve. Cause that's not really a thing. But that pocket clip, yeah, yeah, that gets me. The other thing is, I mean, as you can see there, your access to the lock bar, the liner lock, excuse me. It is, it does stand proud a little bit, but you still kind of got to dig your thumb in there to get access to it or get your fingernail down in that. Would like to see a little bit better access. Not really cut away here for it, so you do kind of have to dig. Um, those are my two things with the mini sandbar. Other than that, I mean, it's a great Civivi knife. Yeah, the detent's a little light, but... All you got to do is flip it and it comes out without any problem. So that's not really, that's not really too big of an issue. Uh, for me, uh, I have to say that the pocket clip is an issue. It definitely is an issue because I can feel it way more than I would like. And even the liner lock, that's not that big of a deal. Unfortunately for me, the clip is a big deal. It's not overly comfortable in hand just the way it hits me so hopefully whoever has the opportunity and wins this knife you know uh, you can always take the clip off if you would like you can flip it maybe that would help and carry it in your left pocket as a uh, secondary I know some people do that with their secondary knives and then lefties 
you know, I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just not, it, it's just hitting me just at that wrong spot, unfortunately. So, but then again, like I said, this is an affiliation knife. This is get, it's going to get given away to one of you. Lucky winners, as always, I'll leave it open for a week, week and a half, whatever, however my schedule works out. At least a week. I usually leave them open for at least a week. So you guys can get your comments in, check it out, and get an opportunity to potentially win you a new knife. So thanks a lot, guys. Greatly appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye-bye.